Yo, what's up guys? Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Discord server. So I'm gonna be starting a Discord playlist on my channel. And we're gonna be covering everything from like how to create a Discord server, the basics, to how to set up bots and commands and channels and categories and all of this stuff. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist down in the description if you're interested in that. There's just a ton of settings on Discord. So I'm excited to get into it and make some tutorial videos on this. If you aren't familiar with Discord, it's basically like a community chat or a group chat. If you're kind of old school, maybe think of it as something like a Facebook group, but way better. So in order to create a new server or create sort of your group or your community, what you want to do is have this sidebar open here. Now you can do this by hitting the three lines in the top left, or you can just swipe from the left side of the screen. And I believe if you're on the desktop version, this should already be open. And the desktop design and the mobile app design are all very similar. So that's a nice thing that they keep it consistent. So when I make these tutorials, it should all be very similar. Now I already have a Discord server. Mine's called Tap Lab YouTube. If you want to join mine, you can join in some of the discussions. We're just starting here. I think there's like 100 people in here right now. But I'm just starting out. Um, I have some games in here, some games for discussion. I'll be adding more games. I talk about mobile apps too, so there could be some mobile app discussions. But basically my Discord is just starting out, so if you want to join this, go ahead and click that link in the description and you can join here. So to create a new server, on the left side of the screen here, you can see I'm in like five different servers. If I were to create a new one, I would just want to hit this big plus sign. So you can do this, create your own server, create your own community and all of that. You just want to hit create a new server. And then it'll take you to the creation screen. You can click here or tap here in this circle to upload the image for your server. And if we go back, we can see along the left side, that's what that image is going to be. So it's going to be like a little icon that represents you. And then you can type your server name. So I could just call this one test server. And then you're going to want to pick your server region. Pretty much you just want to pick the one closest to you. And then all you would want to do is hit create. So there we go, I've created a new server. Um, it might ask you some things like access microphone, this and that. Go ahead and hit OK if you're down with that. And then it will also give you a link to invite people to your server. So this is pretty much the only way that people can join. You need to send this link to them. And you can set this link to never expire or you can have it expire after like a day or so you can set like uh, however long you want, one day, 12 hours. You can only allow a certain amount of people. So if you want like a hundred people, you can do that. I recommend just doing max and one day or never. Um, like if you're just sending this to one person, maybe do one day. But if you want to include like a link for all of your YouTube videos or something like that, maybe pick never. And then you want to just hit save and you can hit the share link button and then go ahead and copy that link. Or if you're on a computer, just copy that link. Then you can hit close, and then you can send that link out wherever you want. And there you go. Now you have a server. People can begin to type in this. Basically, you just have like one general chat right now and some voice channels. But this is just a video covering how to set it up and a little bit of an overview of what it is. In future videos, I'll go over how to create uh, categories and channels and all of this stuff. Add bots, commands, a ton of more advanced stuff. But right now we're just covering the basics. And that's really all you would need to do for the basics or to set one up. So you'd be good to go and people can begin to use it now. And if you want to invite more people, go ahead and hit the three lines up here in the top left and hit invite members. And then it'll create another link. Um, so it sort of generates these links whenever you click that button. So if you want to invite someone new, just hit the invite button and send them a link. But there you have it, the basics of how to create and set up a new Discord server. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer those. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily videos and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.